Hi guys, my name is Kamal Rawat and in this video we are trying to solve this interview problem. The problem is that we are given an array and a number x. We want to find if there exists a pair inside the array uh, whose sum is equal to x. For example, if the array is this, for example, if the given array is this and x is 15, then the pair exists in the array because 8 plus 7 is equal to 15. So a pair exists in the array whose sum is equal to 15. But uh, if let us say x is equal to 18, then our answer should be no because no pair exists in the array whose sum is equal to 18. Now essentially what we are trying to do is that for each element in the, we are trying to find two elements that add up to this number x. So since it is a problem which is related to searching, so effectively we have three solutions. One that will probably be related to linear search. Second option maybe can be that is related to binary search. And third solution maybe can be which is related to hashing where uh, by taking some extra memory we can reduce the search time to be constant in a typical hash environment. Right? What I suggest normally to the candidates is that before solving the uh, you know, uh, while practicing the, these interview questions, it is always good idea to practice the questions on paper. When I say practice the question on paper, I do not mean, you know, you, you, you have to write everything on paper or on whiteboard. What I actually mean is that uh, you should solve it first in your mind before jumping to write the code, right? So uh, you should not be jumping to write the code. Let us say, let us just try to find the logic of this problem. The logic of this problem is that, uh, for each number, let us say 2 is the number and if x is equal to 15, so we want to find a number which add up, which when added to 2 gives us 15. So essentially we are trying to find 13 in rest of the array. Similarly, if 13 does not exist in the array, so what we are looking for is that for 9, we are trying to find 6 in the array because 9 plus 6 will be equal to 15. Then because 6 also does not exist in the array, then we pick the next element which is 7 and for 7 we try to find 15 minus 7 that is 8 in the array because 8 and 7 will add up to form 15. Now if you look at it that uh, then for each element in the array a i we are trying to find x minus a i in the array. Because the array, because nothing is given about the number of elements, uh, because nothing is given about the nature of elements in the array, we cannot just use binary search, right? So if we if we try to use linear search, then x minus a means the time taken will be the time taken in linear search is on the order of n. So for first element, we will end up taking n time. For uh, second element, we will be taking n minus one. Uh, we will be searching an array for of n minus one size which means we will be taking size uh, we will be taking time on the order of n minus 1 which is again on the order of n then for third element we will be taking time uh, which is proportional to n minus 2 for fourth element we will be taking time which is proportional to n minus 3 and so on why this uh, this time is decreasing is because let us say if i am searching for if i am at this particular element if I am at this particular element, I do not need to search the array before this. I only need to search the array after this. So for first element, we need to search uh, entire n minus one elements. For second element, we do not need to search. Uh, we do not need to uh, check whether the first element is, can be the answer or not, because first element will never add up to the second element. Had it been the case, it would have uh, resulted in the answer earlier itself. All right. So, so this is one way. In this case, the time taken is on the order of n square. So let us first just uh, try to write the code for this. All right. So I have already written the code. Let us say this is my array. The code is written in C++. So if this is my array, then uh, uh, the find pair element for each i, for i is equal to 0, i is less than n minus 1, for each i, what we are looking for is that we are searching for x minus arr i in this array. Now if you look closely, this is a linear search. So instead of doing this, what we can do is that we can write the linear search algorithm. 
we, we can write a function for linear search which will be like this so this function search in an array of size n for a value x and instead of doing this we can say perform linear search perform linear search in the array that starts from arr plus i plus 1 index and which has n minus i minus 1 elements and what we are looking for is x minus arr of i so for first element when i is equal to 0 the array has n minus 1 element and the array is starting from the second element so if this returns true so if if this search is successful then we will return true because we have found the pair otherwise keep searching and when when we are done with the entire array then return false so this this can be one solution the other solution is that if we use binary search now if we use binary search then the basic requirement for binary search is that the array need to be sorted so let us first sort the array if we sort the array then the array becomes 0 1 2 4 5 7 8 9 So this is the array in this array again we are doing the same thing what we were doing in linear search for first element so first element is 0 we will try to find x minus 0 in rest of the array now in rest of the array we can apply binary search now okay. so we just need to modify the binary search algorithm a little bit because uh, if, if I want to find let us say uh, 15 minus 4 15 minus 4 is 11 so if I want to find 11 in this array then I will not be uh, considering this particular element so I should not be considering this particular element but uh, you got the logic the logic is that for each element perform binary search if we perform binary search for each element then for each element we will be taking log n time and because there are n elements the total time taken will be n log n so this is an improvement over the on the order of n square algorithm where we were using linear search the third approach can be that we put all the values of the array in a hash table in a hash map so if we put all the values of the array in a hash map then we can perform the search for x minus arr i in the hash map in constant time so the search will be taking constant time and for each element we will be making that search because there are n element we will be performing this search in the hash table n times and the total time taken will be on the order of n for this in this particular case we will also require a memory of uh, to store the hash map so we will end up taking on the order of n time and on the order of n extra memory Whereas the binary search solution and the linear search solution are uh, in place algorithms that take constant extra space. For more such videos, uh, please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.